All right, guys, so I'm down in the basement. I'm going to uh, show you how to cheaply and effectively seal your sump pit up so that radon gas can't get out into your living space, but also allow for water to drain into your sump pit from either flood water or from appliances like dehumidifiers or water softeners or what else. Um, you know, normally if you just put a drain on your sump pit lid or leave your sump pit lid unsealed, then all you're doing with your radon system is sucking air from your conditioned space. That's not good. You, you know, you paid money with energy to condition that air and keep it dehumidified and cooled down or warmed up or whatever. You want to make sure that this radon system is sucking from below the slab. So what you do is you just basically make a real tall P-trap like this that uh, goes through underneath this hole, screws into a shower uh, drain like that, and this has about five inches of water inside of it. And the strongest radon system out there could only suck maybe two or three inches of water, and even then that wouldn't be ideal because uh, you know you wouldn't be getting very good, very good airflow underneath your underneath your slab or underneath your encapsulation liner. So it's as simple as that. Basically, the, the fan is not strong enough to suck the water out of the P-trap, but if you put water in here, you know, in the top right there, it'll go through the P-trap until it gets full and then it'll drain out into your system or into your sump pit. Seal everything up and you're good to go. All right, so this is what it looks like installed. As you can see, I got the P-trap down there. It's like three quarters of an inch below the top of my lid. I can, you can see that's the radon, or right there, that three inch pipe is the bottom of the radon pipe. It's just sucking air out of the sump pit. And uh, it's also sucking air from, through that corrugated perforated pipe that runs up behind the wall and in, underneath the encapsulation liner in my crawl space. And then right down there is the, uh, the sump pump with the sump pump discharge. So that's kind of the anatomy of your, of your system here. I'm going to seal up the sump pit, pour some water in there, and show you that it's not getting sucked out by the radon system. All right, so I've got the sump pit lid all screwed down and sealed up. I turned the hose on. That's why there's water everywhere. But uh, that should be all the further, like all the more water I get on this floor right here. It's not a very level floor before it starts going into the, into the drain. And I'll show you here, I've got more negative pressure on my system than I used to have. So if you remember, it used to only be like, I don't know, a half inch difference. Now from here to here is like a full inch of difference. Now down in here, I'll show you that it's not actually sucking out. I've got this piece of cardboard um, paper wrapped up. I'll stick it down in there and I just hit the water. Probably see a little bit of glint, but yeah. I'm maybe about two inches deep in there. It's right at the top of that of the uh, that purple, the purple primer. You can see here that it's wet, okay? So I've got like a solid four inches of water in this trap right now, and that's just the way that it'll stay um, because I got my dehumidifier line, which I'll, I'll plumb this up better to go actually go in there and be fixed into that but I think you get the idea now. So if you have a flood in your, in your basement, water can go down in there, but your radon system will still maintain pressure and not suck water or, and not suck the water up out of the P-trap and into the sump pit. And then I'll go ahead and I'll turn, I, I, want, I want to cycle the sump pit to prove to you also that the suction from the sump pump water going out isn't gonna create enough negative pressure to suck that out as well. All right, so I've gone ahead and I've put the hose in the, um, I've turned the hose on for a while into the drain, and you're looking at the radon, the, uh, or the suction level there of my sealed system, and I'm about to plug in the sump pump because the water level in there should be high enough for the float to actuate. And I just want to show you that uh, two things, that the sump pump ventilates through the radon system because it overcomes the, the fan, and that it doesn't ventilate through, the, uh, through my drain down there, sucking all the water out of the trap. This way you have an unvented system so that the radon system is always providing suction under your slab or in, under your crawl space liner, and you're never losing your water inside your P-trap. So I'm gonna go ahead and plug it in and turn it off, and we'll see.
Okay, sump pump just turned on. I can still hear it running. Okay. I think it might have kicked off. It's a pretty quiet sump pump. So on down here. All right. And I can still see water in my trap <laughs> blowing some bubbles out of there. Here's my dry piece of cardboard. And the, the level of the water inside this is still right up there at the top of the, you know, that purple um, primer joint exactly where it was before. You can see my stick is now wet. Yep. You can see the water in there glimmering. So what this proves, I've done every test possible to prove that my radon system is sealed up, okay, air from under my slab in radon and soil gas continuously. It's not sucking any air out of my conditioned space, which is great. And that when my sump pump pumps, it ventilates through the radon pipe to replace that lost volume um, when the water goes down with air from my radon pipe instead of from air through the trap. So the trap always stays full of water. That's the, that's the story here. So I hope that proves to you um, in complete, you know, <laughs> in complete detail that this system works, it's robust, and it's cheaper than a dranger drain or a jackal or a jackal drain or whatever you can find on the market. All right, guys. Thanks for watching the video. Don't forget to comment, rate, and subscribe, of course. I hope that helped.